If you're very careful, you're gonna realize that I actually trade more binary than Forex. And if you look into my YouTube videos, you're gonna realize that I have a bunch of Forex videos, but probably is like 95% binary and then 5% probably is Forex. And there are some reasons behind it that I wanna share with you in this specific video. For those of you wondering why is it that I trade more binary than I trade Forex. Now, this video is not just to decide like, hey, this is the best way to make money online or to say, hey, Forex is not a good way money to make money online, but instead it's so that you can open your eyes and understand what is it that I see before entering an investment opportunity? And more importantly, how you can use the exact same point of view that I have in order to take advantage of the opportunities you have, because what's good for me might not be as good for you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Hey everyone, Kristen here, AKA The King of Binary Options. I've actually kind of fit that name, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think I'm the king of binary options? That's just a name that I called myself to. But the point of this video is actually to determine what will be like the main difference between why I said that I trade binary more than I trade Forex. And this more like an actual tutorial video, it, it will be like an explanation as to why you see 95% of videos on the binary options in my channel instead of more Forex videos. So again, that's just my point of view. Let's jump right into it. All right, so first, let me just go ahead and start with the experience that I actually have when it comes to binary and then when it comes to Forex. Back in 2016, when I started my YouTube channel and when I basically started at the same time, I started with binary options. Back then, there were Facebook groups all over the place where they send signals. Well, they're actually, when I started, it was just one, but then, a couple of months later, there were a bunch of other groups. So what I decided to do was to actually learn to trade binary options and then become a signal provider. Now, it wasn't really that easy, but it wasn't really that hard either. One thing that you need to understand is that in most of the groups, you're gonna realize that it's easier to send signals than to trade on your own. And as a matter of fact, that is something that happened to me. I started sending signals even though I wasn't making that much money into my trading account. For those of you who know part of that story, I actually started uh, with a $100 account, then another $100 account, then another $100 account. And then when I deposited $20 into another broker that I uh, that existed at the moment, that's exactly when I started making money. It has nothing to do with the amount that I made the deposit with. It basically is just because I understood what I was doing wrong, which mostly is, uh, you know, emotions. So then when I started trading binary options and started making money with binary options, at the same time, I decided to investigate what was Forex and, and how different it was from binary options. Now, I did find some things that were similar, but I found a lot of things that were not quite equally or they were not as simple as with binary. And even though I do trade Forex and I actually have a couple of funded accounts that I work with, I put main of my effort when it comes to binary options for two reasons. Number one, I make more money, my accounts are bigger. Number two, I believe it's money that we can make faster. And number three, because I'm actually better at it. So that's uh, basically my story. Now let's go ahead and talk about how you can predict Forex trades and then how you can predict binary trades. Predicting Forex trades, uh, depending on what strategy you're gonna be using, you're gonna realize that if you type in strategy in, uh, or Forex strategy over there in uh, YouTube, you're gonna be able to find like hundreds of videos talking about the perfect Forex strategy. In my opinion, Forex and binary and all trading tools, except for stocks and probably cryptocurrencies, is all about price action. So when you're able to identify how the price of an asset moves, depending on what people are actually doing, you actually get way better at predicting what is it that, where is it that you should, you're supposed to trade. So the strategy that I use is when it comes to pullbacks. So I actually analyze and identify what's the trend of a center market. For instance, this is a, 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 a uptrend. Then I identify these movements right here so that I can go ahead and enter my positions here, 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 and here. 
Do I use indicators? Absolutely, yes. There are important or probably super important when it comes to trading forex so when you identify like the indicators which i'm not going to go through the strategy that i used like entirely right here the way you predict your forex trades is basically when you try to identify where the market or where the price of the asset is actually going in a short slash midterm period which means it could move within the next two hours or maybe six hours or maybe four hours it doesn't matter take a look at this trade that i actually have activated and let me see let me show you where it was activated it was activated on august 4th i'm recording this video on august the 18th so you see that it takes a lot of time for you to actually get that trade closed if that's what you want to do but yeah that's basically how you uh predict forex now when it comes to binary options it kind of gets I don't want to say easier, but it kind of is simpler, okay? Here's one example of the trades that I was able to take uh, today. This strategy or the price action is literally the same, okay? I'm looking for a trend, and then I'm looking for a retraction of the trend and a trading zone where I believe the price will start retracting or will re it will respect it. And this is what I did. I realized that this zone was respected, and then this is the trading zone in one minute candles, and this is where I traded. How much money was I able to make today? $6,400 just today. I'm in a top 10 position of the best traders of the world today. So, uh, you know, this is how I predict my trades. Let's go ahead and identify which one is easier because that's actually super important, but uh, you're going to be surprised with the next bullet point. Which one's easier? Both of them are literally the same. Okay, literally the same. And in order to show you that, I'm going to go back and, I don't know, find a replay section right here where I can, like, give you the live example as to how I would predict. Now, you know what? This pair sucks. Uh, this one does look better. So let's just go ahead and get right here. Uh, so this is how I would predict a trading zone. For instance, right here, I can realize that there is a trading zone in this section. I'm looking at a four hour candlestick and I realize that it's an uptrend pretty much. Right. So I would go ahead and say, you know what? Uh, I believe this is the moment where the trade will actually start jumping. It's going to give me a 3.68 risk reward ratio. But in addition, I do see another trading zone in this section right here that I believe that is quite important as well. So if this one doesn't get respected, probably this one will. So I actually do this and I'm just gonna move it a little bit. And then we're gonna see which one gets respected. Definitely none of them was respected, but you get the idea, right? Then these are, uh, you know, not applicable ones. And then I can just go ahead and move on and see if I find another opportunity right there. We're looking at July. Now here we saw a change on trending. So probably this looks like a good entry opportunity right here. Uh, I'm just gonna move it because otherwise this looks like another gr great opportunity right here, right there. I'm doing this pretty fast and I have experience about it, all right? It's not about just doing it the way I'm doing it. All right, so as you can see right here, probably uh, we didn't identify this zone as we wanted because now it actually changed on the trend. And uh, we can identify, for instance, this part right here, right here as a good trading zone. And boom, it was respected. And depending on the trade that you wanted to place, for instance, if it was a two to one risk reward ratio, it was like around there pretty much so you want it right if it was a three to one then you you didn't win it uh there's trailing stop and stuff like that that i don't want to go in detail right now but you realize that it was quite easy to identify the entry as a matter of fact right now there is one uh trade that is activated right now now with forex uh, i'm sorry with binary let's see which one's easier in five minutes doing the exact same logic I identified that this was an uptrend, take a look at the moving average, and that there was a resistance that was broken in this section, so it became a support line. 
all that I did, I, by the way, in Forex, I realized I, I actually uh, tried it in four hours and right here in five minutes. This is based on my own strategy. Based on my own strategy, I decided to take these trades in GBP USD. And as you can see, boom, I won them all. Now, it took me like 10 seconds to explain the binary and like, I don't know, like three minutes to explain the Forex. So that just gives you an idea as to which one is easier. In my opinion, absolutely binary is way easier. And uh, let me just go ahead and explain you why. In Forex, you're going to realize that, yes, we did identify like the entry point and we were good with the prediction. Take a look. This is the uh, candlestick deactivated it. The next one was green. So we're really, really good. That was a great prediction, right? But if you notice, it's not just about predicting where it's going to go. It's predicting how far it's going to go without going in the opposite direction, which is a huge difference in binary. Let me show you the trade. This is today's trade. And it doesn't matter how far I go or how far it goes from the actual trading zone that I wanted. For instance, in Forex, this could have hit like the stop loss and stuff. But when it comes to binary, we don't care how far it goes as long as it retracts and goes into that direction. In addition, we don't care if the price actually goes all the way here or it's just go all the way here. I'll win the position either either or because it's not about how far the trade goes. It just has to go in the direction that I predicted it, which is way easier. So what is which one is actually uh, like faster? When it comes to binary options, you need to identify where the price is going to go within the next one minute, two minutes, three minutes, depending on your expiration. When it comes to Forex, you need to actually identify a level where the trade is going to go. It doesn't matter if it takes, for instance, like this one, days, weeks, pretty much. This one has also weeks. Take a look. It was activated on the 14. It's been four days. So it doesn't matter if you actually uh, take a month or two months for you to win the trade. That's how far you have to wait. In binary, it doesn't matter if it's just one pip or 100,000 pips, you still win the trade. So I believe binary is way faster. Now, very important question, which one is riskier? And in order to answer that, we need to take two things in consideration. Number one, like the risk, the money that you lose. And number two, the money that you make towards the money that you lose. For instance, when it comes to Forex, you can say, hey, I want to lose $2, but in exchange, I'm going to make, I'm going to make $10 because your take profit is super high or super low, depending on the direction. When it comes to binary, you decide how much you're going to lose, but the broker decides how much you're going to win. For example, if I actually win this trade that you're looking at, the GBP USD, it's a 91% profitability. And it's literally right here. If I invest $1,000, my payout will be $1,910, which means that I will make in profit $910. If I lose the trade, I lose $100. So if you, if you look carefully, you're going to realize that if you win a trade in Forex, you can win up to, I don't know, probably like 500% of the trade, 1,000% of the trade, depending, right? Because if you risk $2 and you make $10, you're making 500% in profits, right? With uh, binary, you can make only like 90%, sometimes 95% and stuff. But if you lose in Forex, you lose the $2. But if you lose in binary, you lose the entire traded amount. You lose the exact same thing. But the, the question here is which one is riskier? So in terms of risk and reward, obviously Forex is less risky. But riskier doesn't mean bad. As long as you're able to manage your risk and your reward, you can make tons of money. Just today in pocket, I was able to make $17,400. That's money that I have never done in Forex. So it's a lot more conservative and uh, you, you make up your mind. Hey, so hopefully you enjoyed the content of this video and helps you out to make up your mind as to which one you should go with. And 
make you understand exactly why you see a bunch of videos when it comes to binary in my channel and uh, not that many in Forex. But I do the both and if you actually want to go ahead and do both, you're more than welcome, but hopefully you enjoyed it. So if you found value at any point during this video, make sure you smash the like button as usual and be subscribed for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.